Hello everyone, today I'm reviewing Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Set number 75281 was 248 pieces. Let's get into the review. First figure up is R2-D2. We see him in about at least one set per year at minimum. He's a very plain figure and we, it's a very overused figure at, as well. So there's nothing too crazy about this figure. Now, here is Anakin Skywalker. I'm not one to complain about Lego sets because I think that the designers do the best that they can, especially the Lego team too, because it probably costs a lot of money to like make these sets and they're probably only getting so much more back. But the torso print is the duel on Mustafar and again, and I just, it's not movie accurate to what the scene is representing. This starship was only seen in The Clone Wars and the start of Revenge of the Sith. Anakin got those burns at the end of Revenge of the Sith. So it doesn't make sense that he has the burns now. But overall, still a good figure besides those burns. and It, it bothers me a lot. But he does have a second face, which I can show you right now. I'd like to stay on. That's a second. And this is first. Let's get on to the set. Okay. This set, I have a lot of things to say about. It is a great, go great build. But there's one huge design flaw for me is these. If When I'm trying to pick this up I'll, or set it down, these will bend. These will bend every single time. They're so flimsy, like I'm just shaking it right now. I'll try, like, I, like look, just doing that, it moves. Just little movements like that, I do not like. That is like a huge design flaw for me. Like when you're flying it or like swishing it around, I hear the movements and it's like jittering a bunch. But still, it is a great set. Uh, the, these can unfold like that and that and you can see some of the detail underneath those and then the same on the other side with a few changes like a swap part to detail closes up and sets down now we can put R2 into his little pocket so we can twist his head over by one head does like to pop off you grab him too by the head too hard and he'll just rest in there and he'll just rest in that space which i think is very good mirrored on the other side as well with that space is empty but you can't access it that's whatever that's right design uh the back side has spring-loaded shooters which i'll shoot off and there's one there's the other these ones are very hidden away so they won't like get in your way of the design too much. Uh, let me put those back in. Yeah, and there, I'll show you how to tuck them. Like, by looking at above, you can barely see them. They're just poking out the bottom. So fairly well hidden. All right, we'll go on to the interior of this. And what you can do is you can set Anakin in a sitting position. You can set him down like that and push him back and push his hands down. And you can close that up and he will sit in there fairly, very, sorry, fairly nicely. Now another flaw of the set is these like to fall off a bunch. It's this piece here, this whole part, It'll just pop off every once in a while. And that one, that time I actually fell apart. So I'll fix that and be right But those do like to fall off a bit. And then underneath these are clips where you can hold the lightsaber. What I like to do is put the lightsaber in and take the blade out and just put it on the other side to store it there. Then you can fold it away and it is mostly hidden. You can kind of see the blade on this side, but it's not a crazy noticeable thing. But Overall, this is a very good set, and 
let's just I say uh, the build I'd say it's a seven out of ten there's a lot of like flaws this is a huge one that I don't like but it is a great build otherwise and the minifigures I rate a one out of ten this is my review for the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor I'll see you guys later bye